Good morning, guys. So, Honesty is eating some breakfast. She's eating oatmeal with plain organic yogurt and crushed pear. Mmm. And she's loving it. And then, uh, she's also going to have banana and grapes, some water. I'm having yogurt and uh, oatmeal and like ton of vitamin C, 4,000 milligrams plus some water. I'm taking all that because clearly my immune system is going through a harsh time right now. I woke up yesterday and started battling allergies and I'm battling them again today and I've got all these little things on my mouth and I've got what feels like a cold sore coming up here and just having the allergies obviously is annoying enough because I'm sneezing a lot and I don't know I just feel tired and so I'm gonna take that vitamin C and hopefully it uh, helps up my immunity. We'll see, usually it does. Maybe I'm about to catch a cold or something, but I'm fighting it. The awesome thing is, is that I've already got yesterday's video uploaded, done and done. It wasn't up by 8.30 this morning. It was up by 8.30 yesterday though, the other one. But um, no, I uh, got it up by like, 8.45 or something like that. Yeah. That's your tray! So that's not too bad. Anyway, I'm gonna continue feeding Honesty and then I'm going to get to eating as well. It's 10.28 and I just finished emptying the dishwasher and filling it. I still have to eat my yogurt, drink my water, take one more uh, vitamin C and then I'm done my breakfast. I'm just gonna go share my video a bunch and then it'll pretty much be time for Honesty to eat lunch at that point, I imagine. For lunch, Honesty's having cucumber, steak, kale, and hummus. And then um, I have some tofu frying up because even though we don't like it, I know I've said this before, but even though we don't like it, I like her to have some since she likes it. And it gives her an alternative to having meat twice a day. Sometimes I still give her meat twice a day, but not every day. I'm frying the tofu and butter with pepper, chives, parsley, um, garlic powder, and onion powder. And that's it. And she is loving the kale and the hummus and the steak. Yum. And now she's having a half a toast with almond butter. She's drinking milk with her lunch. And for her dessert, she's going to have half a banana and some cherries. Mmm, yummy. So it's 1.30 and I'm having my lunch. No, this is not my lunch. I'm having chicken soup um, with added pork. And then I'm going to have this for dessert. I'm going to have a peanut butter ball, a Rice Krispie Square, and a shortbread cookie. Plus some eggnog. And I already have some water that I have to drink too. So, yeah. Mm, I'm excited. It's 3.48. I'm on my way to my debt consultant management appointment. We're running kind of late, but hopefully that's not a bad thing. We just got home from that appointment I had, plus uh, going to pick up a package. We got a Little Caesars pepperoni pizza. It was like six bucks in the budget, and um, Honesty had a little bit of pizza just to hold her over, and now it's time to feed that little one. I'm taking care of her for the night so he can work. Honesty is eating some broccoli, peas, and pork for supper. She also just had some cheese. Mmm, and like I said, she had a tiny little bit of pizza on the way home. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. And then she's going to have some water to drink with it. And then she'll have some banana and mango.
It's 12.25 a.m. Technically December 18th. So last night I fed the cats, gave Boots his medication, ran the dishwasher. Uh, it's just sitting there cooling now. And um, I did a wash as well. And it's on its second dry now. Tomorrow I have to clean up because Kim's coming over for movie night. And then Saturday I'm having a movie night with Tara. I'm extremely tired right now. I've been watching some Drew Lynch on YouTube. He's awesome. He was on uh, America's Got Talent. And oh my gosh, I'm watching his tongue twisters video right now. Or I was. And it is hilarious. Oh my god. Anyway, so Matt and I, speaking of watching stuff, watched The New Girl earlier. And uh, watched a couple episodes of the first season. We watched the first and second season, but we don't remember a single episode. Neither of us. We remember a tiny, tiny bit. I have been going through a bit again lately. I finally admitted to myself and to two of my friends, Kim and Tara, that they are my best friends. And that is friggin' scary because I've had best friends before. And a lot of them end up thinking I expect too much out of the friendship. Like I expect to hang out, to keep in touch, just normal things friends do. Uh, to have time to ourselves with one another, uh, to be honest with one another, loyal, to care about one another, you know, just, just the norm. And, well, I finally realized that today I was sabotaging myself and for the last few days. Um, since I told them, really, I'm happy. I can actually feel good enough to call someone a best friend again. But at the same time, I'm looking for, oh, what's going to happen? When's it going to happen? Oh my God, they're going to, they're just going to want to stop being friends or they're going to screw off or whatever. Just with different things, just thinking, oh, well. You know, they don't do this, or they did that, so they must not really care, or... Like, I'm analyzing everything, and it's really difficult because there's a difference between having a best friend that you really can't trust, and then having best friends that you can trust, but trying to find reasons that you can't trust them. It just sucks, because I don't want to sabotage these friendships. I don't... I'm paranoid all the time, even in my relationship with Matt. There's a ton of paranoia. And, you know, Matt has st stuck around and been there for me. And we've loved each other and we've gotten through things. But I don't find friends are as tolerant of who I really am. I'm a paranoid person. And, you know, I just, I don't like it when someone's like, oh... I don't really hang out with anyone. I don't really have any friends. And then all of a sudden, they're always hanging out with people. And they have friends. I don't get that. I really don't get that. If I hang out with a lot of people, I'm going to tell people. Or if I hang out with some people, any people, I'm going to tell. I don't have to hang out with every single person I know every week to feel like they're my friend or that I hang out with them or whatever sometimes so it would be nice if I had the time to do that but I don't the the few people that I hang out with a lot or some semi a lot are Tara Patricia and Kim and uh, sometimes Tia when Isabella comes over for a play date with honesty so you know, and my friend Michelle as well. As soon as I start to get paranoid, everything seems to go south in my friendships. So here's to hoping that I'm going to get to editing today's vlog, plus upload this clip, and then I'm going to bed because I am exhausted right now. You know, there are some people that I was extremely close to. Extremely close to. Like, to the point where... When we were younger, we'd have sleepovers where 
I would sleep over at their place, they'd sleep over at my place, we'd keep going back and forth doing that. Um, they'd come and stay over at my grandmother's and my aunt Jeanette's place and anyway we'd just keep going back and forth and that would be like a whole month of like sleepovers, I'm not even kidding, during summer break. Uh, there were a couple of friends especially that I did that with and you know who you are if you're watching the both of you so and then they kind of things changed uh, I don't know as one of them when we were younger actually things changed between us and then it just we fizzled probably high school I'd say I was two years older than her and then we, we kept in touch and stuff and we still see one another every few years and I was supposed to see her when Honesty was born. She was supposed to come visit and then never did which really upset me but what can you do and now she lives far away and then there was another friend that we were like attached at the hip for the longest time and then I kind of had another best friend in high school and so did she. We drifted a bit in high school but then after high school we really were like this for the longest time but there was just too much drama. She liked things a certain way and wanted to hang out when it worked for her and I always wanted to hang out like to me I was still kind of living in that mindset of oh we were always together you know we always had fun I mean I had l I had accepted that you know we're older now it's we're gonna have less time but I didn't understand why she wanted less and less time with me yes I was in a committed relationship for like a long time and there were times where her and I kind of lost touch during that committed relationship, still am. But then she was like really focusing on boyfriends and I don't know, she didn't really have time or didn't feel like it. And then we did couples nights and that was like really awesome and I enjoyed those nights. And then she had a kid um, a while back and I really wanted to be a part of that child's life and her life but that didn't work out then we both had a kid around the same time and I was like well can we do this can I let go of the expectation that if we're gonna be best friends we're just we're gonna be best friends you know the type that spend time together that do things together that bring their kids to the park that you know can we have that and I came to the conclusion that no I don't think we can have that. I'd love for us to have that, but that's just not going to work with what she needs in her life and what I need. Two different things. I believe we both come to accept that that's okay and that we keep in touch and we care for one another, but that's, that's kind of just where we are now. I'm going to close up the vlog for tonight. Good night, everyone.